ANET is a nonprofit dedicated to increasing opportunity for all students. We partner with schools to boost student learning with great teaching that's grounded in standards, informed by data, and built on the successful practices of educators around the country. One of the ways ANET supports educators is with timely assessment data they can use to make teaching more targeted, differentiated, and effective. Results from our assessments are available in less than two days on my ANET, our easy to use online platform. Let's say you're a third grade math teacher and your students have just taken an ANET interim assessment. Within 48 hours, or almost immediately if your school uses online assessments, you can log on to my ANET and see your students' results. You immediately notice that your class performed at a high level relative to the average for schools in your network. All that hard work is paying off. But look here. Your students look weak on standard 3, MD, 70. Which one is that again? Oh right, area addition and decomposition, part of the major work of the grade. Based on the data, you want to return to that standard during instruction. So where did your kids get confused? Hmm, question 13 was a problem. Let's dig deeper there. The largest group of your kids chose A. Our misconception guide can help you understand why they chose that answer. Looks like they added the side lengths to find the area instead of multiplying the side lengths of each smaller shape and then adding the products. So who got this right? Oh, way to go Jordan. I'll remember to give him a pat on the back. You decide to review finding area in the concept of breaking a complex shape into smaller shapes you might want to review the standards objectives. And here are some lesson plans you can use from our curated collection of over 3,200. After you review, you'll want to know if your students get it now. Reassessing is easy with our quiz builder tool. First, select the standard. Choose a few problems from our bank of 7,500 items. And bingo, there's your quiz. Or let's say you're a principal and you're reviewing school performance over time. Hmm, looks good. But what's going on with 7th grade ELA? Digging deeper, it looks like standards related to craft and structure are an area of particular concern. You make a note to ask your ELA lead about this during your next check-in. Maybe she should be spending extra time with the 7th grade team or attending their planning time. Now you've got five minutes before some classroom observations of 5th grade math just enough time to get oriented. They're working on finding the volume of rectangular prisms. Take a moment to review the standard. You'll want to have the objectives firmly in mind as you observe the classes. The vertical progression can be incredibly valuable for context. And these sample questions can give you a feel for what students will be asked to do on summative tests. You'll want to notice if your teachers are expecting the same level of rigor. You're ready for productive observation. That was faster than digging through files and books, wasn't it? Our goal with my ANET is to make your job as an educator as frictionless as possible. We put the practical data, tools, and high quality resources you need right at your fingertips so you can devote your energy and attention to the reason you do this work, meeting the needs of your students.